Beauty News family, welcome to this week's episode of Beauty News. Yep. Today we're talking about new stuff. We are. And, and we're in a different location. We are. We're at my house. Haley's house. My house doing a thing. Oh wow. Yay. Oh wow. Um, so, oh, this, look, it doesn't want to load. And Kat's chair is making noise, so. Not If now. you lean forward and back, you might. There we go. <laughs> That's just my old creaky bones, Haley. So we're going to start this week with fun collabs because I'm excited about them. I'm excited too. So since we've got like a category sort yep. of, we'll start with that and then we'll just go B to whatever. All right. And Sounds good. Let's start with the, I think it's pronounced Mossino. Mossino? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, they're getting together with Sephora and... They're bringing a teddy bear collection to yeah. our vanities. Oh, lucky us. So we've got an eyeshadow palette, 21 different shades and finishes, $45. And this bear lip gloss chain with six glosses, $26. Yeah. Coming in August. Okay, so I don't think this brand is sold at Sephora in Australia. No. And that really, like, <clears throat> that pisses me off because I want this palette so bad. See, I'm okay with this one. You're all right? Yeah, this yeah. one this one isn't my personal aesthetic. Yeah. So for me I'm like gold eh. bear. What is this? You can live Christening. without it. Yeah. I can live without it. So yeah. I I get it. I get it. I'm sure you could be able to get it oh maybe somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe I think it's online. cute as buttons. I I, I, I don't know how big so it is cute. though. I think it's gonna be quite small. Because the shades look tiny, but the bear looks massive. Massive, yeah, yeah. I think it's, it's only forty five dollars, so I'm yeah. curious about the size more than anything. I reckon it'll That's be itty bitty. I'm more curious about. But um, yeah, I'm I'm excited for that. I think it's cute. I like it. I'm down with it. The next one is the thing that I am very excited about. This is pretty this cool. This is Shuramura with uh, Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, and if you're any form of 80s, 90s kid, I'm sure you grew up with Super Mario Brothers. My first game console was the NES, so yes. that was our first game. Yep. So this is big nostalgia for me. And, you know, whenever I see a console that's got it, I still play it. So looks like Shiromura have their lipsticks. Um, with They often bring out these limited edition lipsticks. They've got them in the permanent range, but every year they'll bring out like a different sort of design on it and it's usually um a collab with an artist or a designer yes. so this year it's with a brand which is yeah. really weird i love it yeah I'm i like so it because the brand is awesome i literally want to buy one of every cleansing oil that oh, has that design no. on it. aren't they cool and then i'm just going to keep them and then top them up with other cleansing oils yeah. because this is amazing look like uh, that looks like a felt tip liner it is but it's also got a stamper at the bottom oh that's right and It'd i'm be wondering a I was hoping it'd be a mushroom. Well, it looks like it's got it the stars look on it. Like I'm a star. sure it's going to be a star. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what this is. I think it's going to be some sort of BB compact. I don't know if Shuramira Actually, do BB no, compact. Actually, no, they don't. And it's also it doesn't look like one that sort of pops open. It doesn't like look a, like a compact. It looks, looks like, like a, a jar. balm type thing yeah. or a cream. They do do skincare. They do. So it could be something from the skincare range to yeah. go along with the oil. And then there's a makeup kind of case mm -hmm. and an eyeshadow palette now yeah. when shiramura do bring out their big sort of collections like this there's often two eyeshadow palettes something like three or four lipsticks and multiple things so we'll probably see a lot more coming out and i'm super excited for it yeah i'm super mario brothers excited for it. oh i love it good love i'm it. glad you're excited i'm excited another one that people have been excited about yeah. is the face shop marvel collection yeah and this is a huge collection it so they've indeed. got men's stuff with like captain cleansers america. yeah captain america so um it includes includes cleansers face washes hair stuff it's Lots and lots of goodies for the guys. They also have a holding matte wax. Yes. They've got lipsticks, eyeliners, mascaras, including coloured yep. mascaras. Uh, they've got two eyeshadow palettes. Yep. I nearly bought the red one. But then I actually found something else by a different brand on the website and I bought them instead. 
Uh, not makeup. Actually, it technically is makeup. But Interesting. I'm yeah. intrigued. Bambi. Bambi compact. Oh, cute. I know. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, uh, they've got nail polish duos, which are really These nail cool. polishes look so nice. Oh, I really like it. Yeah, these weren't available on the website I was looking at, but they might because... be available in store. Yeah. Yeah, actually, good point. Good yeah, point. and then they also have a Captain America shield, like a sponge. Yeah. Um, either a BB cream foundation, color corrector. They do them all, so yes. it's a bit... There yeah. seems to be a liquid lipstick that's in a bullet as well. Yeah, that's really... Or it might be a lip stain or something. Yeah. And going back, there's another photo. It's actually like a BB... Uh, like a foundational BB cream. Yes, yep. Cushion, cushion compact. Yeah. Um, yeah, cool collection. I love it. I'm. Yeah, people are yeah. very excited for I it. I get it. I love it. I think the face shop... I feel like Korean brands always do collaborations really well. Yeah, I think they almost... And they should do this. They yes. almost milk it. Like they they've do. got the rights, so they go Fuck crazy yeah. with it. But Whereas, they do it so well. Yeah, but then there's other brands that are like, oh, we have the rights to Beauty and the Beast, so we'll bring out this one little thing. You're like, why? Yeah, why? Just go. Do it. Do it well. Exactly. But um, possibly also because, like, Korean skincare brands, um, they might be quite small in Western countries, but they're really popular and make oh, a shitload of money huge. in the Asian market. Absolutely. So they can spend the big bucks to get all the yep. images and the rights to X-Men and this and this and that yep. and that. Whereas a lot of brands sort of just slack off, I guess. Yeah. And just go, oh, oh yep. I'm just going to get that. Yeah. Just just one. Just that. Because I am i don't want to spend too much yep. money. No, I'm, I'm fucking do more. Do everything. Do I'll it buy all. It. I'll buy it all. Yeah. All right. Let's go alphabetical. We'll mm-hmm. start with something boring as batshit. This is Barry M. Matte Me Up Metallic Liquid Lipsticks. And they say they're a lip kit because it comes with a liner as well. Oh, how exciting. Yeah. Hooray. Not, we need more excited. lip kits in our life. Yes. Speaking of lip products. Oh, yeah. This is, a, <laughs> this is a bad photo though. I reckon if they get a good photo, you might I be like... I think so. Eh. Yeah. I agree. So this is the They're Real Red On... Yes, it is a an individual lipstick pan in a compact with a brush. And little lips on the, on yes. the pan. Now, I don't hate the visual appeal of the lips on the pan mm-hmm. and the look of the product and stuff, but I don't really understand why they're going this route. It's not very necessary. No. But that's pretty typical of Benefit. They do love to... Try new things, yes, and then pull them off the shelves when they don't sell, and yep. then try something else. Yep. So, which, you know, I don't hate that because I like new stuff. True. So, yeah, but yeah. I don't. I don't. Yeah, this isn't for weird. me. No. Yeah. All right. So, Bite Beauty are releasing or have released um, the Amuse Amuse Bouche lipsticks in nearly neon shades. Mm -hmm. Now, this is not available internationally. I believe it's just Sephora and Sephora Canada only, um, which is a bit of a shame. So there's six shades. I believe it's like orange. I think it's like peach. Hang on. I should get the actual names. All right. So we've got nearly neon orange, nearly neon peach, nearly neon pink, nearly neon fuchsia, nearly neon blue, and nearly neon purple. Right. Now, um... The big hoo-ha about this is the fact, and I get it, like, there are some swatches floating around and they don't look super opaque or super neon, yeah. which is why they're called nearly neon. Yeah. I get it. A lot of people, um, like, for me, I like a bright lip and this sort of, I'm like, why isn't it super neon? But the whole thing about Bite Beauty is that they're um, really kind of natural and they're they're using edible or safe to eat yes. ingredients. And to make a lipstick neon that is, like, food standard safe is very hard to do. Yeah. So that's why these, they're pushing them as hard as they are because it probably took a lot of experimenting, a lot Mm. of time, a lot of effort to even get colours this bright with that kind of standard that they have. So um, that's also why they're called nearly neon. They can't really punch it up to, like, super, super neon because they're restricted by the ingredients that they can use. Mm -hmm. I will say that blue shade, mm. it's not good. It's not good in the swatch. So I can understand why people were complaining about it. Well, I don't know. I don't think I've seen anyone actually 
use it. Mm -hmm. It's only recently been released and the only photos I've seen are photos that like Byte have posted. Yeah. So, um, but once again, you, I think it's probably the best you can do while maintaining the standards that they have. Yeah. Which, which is, is fair enough. Good on them. Uh, they'll also sell for $26 each. And they're limited edition, aren't they? Yes, I believe so. Yep. Limited edition lipsticks. The next item we have is from a brand called uh, Bitter Lace Beauty. These mm -hmm. are the guys that brought us the rainbow highlighter. That's they right. They were the yep. first people that sort of... Made it, it popular. It, yeah, it took off. Uh, so they're bringing out a Mermaid Dreams collection. And it includes a highlight palette and a shellfish compact. Now, you Is can, this a highlight palette? I thought it was an eyeshadow palette. It's a highlight palette. Oh, wow. Uh, you can customise and choose the shades you want. So they're $18 each for a single highlighter, $20 for a marble highlighter, and 22 for a rainbow highlighter. So you're just buying the, the actual packaging? Yep. Mm -hmm. ah. um, but wait for it. You can get it filled. I'll tell you how much it costs. So all 11 Mermaid Dreams shades plus a palette and a compact will cost you 214 US dollars. Yeah, they're not a cheap brand, that's yeah. for sure. When I originally saw that rainbow highlighter and people going nuts for it, I'm like, it's pressed pigment in a pan and they're charging like 40 Ooh, bucks for it or something. Yeah, a lot. And I'm like, wow, that's that's a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Now you can buy the palette and the packaging separately. It's $35. Um, and the shellfish compact on its own is eight dollars so pretty much they've been releasing these highlighter shades and these are just forms of storing them yes yes okay boring um something else that they've done though is i believe i'm not too sure what's going on with these highlighters i'm yeah. not sure if they do it normally or if this is sort of a new thing for the release of this palette um, but they're putting some sort of like little stone things at the base of their highlighting pan so that after you've like used it for a while, it's almost like hitting treasure. Um, and apparently people like voted for this. Like they, they chose the little things yeah. to go in the bottom of them. Um, but right. I, I don't, <clears throat> look. I think it's kind of a cute novelty. Mm. Hitting pan is really cool. And I imagine, like, exposing this would be pretty cool. Um, but I do worry about, like, brush. Like, is that shit going to, like, back and forth over that? My... If that <laughs> damaged one of my $100 Haku Hodo brushes, I would literally lay a fucking egg. I think what <sighs> my concern with this would be more to do with, like, their... Like, I don't care if it comes loose or anything, but yep. you're actually taking away space for product. To adhere to, to, to the pan. To just put a little thing in. If I had pans that were, like, patterned, yeah. cool. But, yeah. you know, I don't know. I, it's fun. It's gimmicky. Yeah. These indie brands, they have to provide something they different. They absolutely to do. To survive. So yeah. it, they're doing that, and that's yeah. fair enough. They are. This is something from Bliss Cosmetics. It's called Light the Glow. And they are like ombre, blush, and highlight palettes. Cool. Yeah. Moving on. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, oh my this God. one I'm super oh excited God, I'm about. Dead for this. So this is the Burberry. What is it called? It's called Beast's Box. Beast's Beauty Box. That's yeah. it. Yep. So every year they bring out a beauty box with a different sort of theme. Mm -hmm. um, and this year it is... Beast. So but it's cool. so it's so well done. I literally want a handbag with his design on it. I love the design this. of the box is so great. I, I love it. I'm like I This want is available this. in Australia already. Ha! Huh! Let's go that? and buy it. Well, we can I go to Chad's We're soon. going. I want it. We're I going. Want, We're buying I want it. This. I want it. I don't care what it costs me. I reckon yeah. this is gonna be it's right a hundred bucks. There. Oh, that is a lot less than I expected. Yeah, it's a hundred bucks. We're Australia. going shopping. So it contains a lipstick, which is like a red. It contains so a excited. nail polish, which is a red, a mini mascara, and a gorgeous deep teal eyeshadow, yeah. which is my color. Kind I am of so excited. I am so excited. I didn't think I would be able to get it. Because I was doing more research on it for Instagram, <gasps> and I saw that it was currently available in Australia, and I'm like, wow. Oh, my God. We're, wow. Yes. We're getting I'm it. I'm so excited. Yes. 
Yeah, with that, um, we see when people say you break up makeup, you're not enthusiastic about oh makeup. Oh my god, and we yeah, are, we are, <laughs> and yeah. also people are like, oh, you bash everything you talk about on beauty news. No, we don't. We just we um, go out and buy it we, the next day exactly. or that very day. We have really fucking high expectations and standards. Yeah, and Burberry just hit the mark. Yeah. I think the thing with us, though, with makeup and our standards is that we have so much makeup oh that to buy more and to actually justify making room for it, it's got to be good. And Absolutely. That's, we have such high standards, If and if we're very critical, you don't have to follow our advice, but no. that's what we're following. Exactly. Exactly. She said it perfectly. While I'm squeaking on my chair, people are going to complain. Oh, the no. The microphone. Why are you squeaking near the microphone? Well, we there's nothing to. we can do about it. It is what it is. It is what it is. Let's talk about Chanel. Yes. They've brought out a new perfume. It's called Gabrielle. Oh. I really, Looks really like, pretty. I really like the name. I've smelt it, obviously. But so far, it's ticking boxes for I me. I kind of like that brick sort of like yeah, weird so indented. I. Because a lot of people go so overboard with like uh, perfume packaging, which yeah. I can respect. But yes. sometimes it's like OTT. Yeah. It's and like yeah, stripping extreme. It, stripping it back to this, it kind yeah. of just keeps it really That's classy. That's what I love about Chanel. They're, it always is very classy with mm. Chanel. I like that. Do we have the notes? Okay, so all I can find about the notes is that it features ylang ylang, jasmine, orange blossom, and tuberose. So smells, smells, sounds like it would smell all right. Sounds too floral for me, but I will go and smell it. Mm -hmm. I'm curious. Don't start, birds. Oh, let them start. They're cute. All right, there there might be birds. loud bird noises. I've got two of them. They're very vocal. <laughs> China Glaze is bringing out a My Little Pony nail polish collection. Um, so How they've is got... this anywhere related to My well, Little Pony? Well, I think the whole gist of it is is that pon My Little Ponies is like vibrant and bright and so are these. Then what are the greys? <laughs> I don't actually know. The like, sad ones. I think they could potentially be holographic. Look, they've got to I be something know. good because... They, yeah. I know. So, it's, yeah, I see the names. I see yeah. ponies. Hey, girl, hey. And it's like, hey. Hey. The stuff yeah. they eat. Anyway, I'd like yeah. to see some more marketing for this. A lot of them look like really glittery ones. Yes. Yeah. And then there's a couple of creams in there as well. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Dior. They're bringing out a Dior Skin Forever Concealer. Mm hmm and these look all right. They do. The shade range looks pretty good as well. Yeah. Like, it, not it, perfect, not but... Not perfect. I think it, they could definitely have, like, added some in down that deep end. Yeah. Um, but, but if you do use it under your eyes and you can sort of use it to brighten... Brighten, yeah. That could, Most people could get could away get with, away with it. these. I, I have faith in these because of that Air Flash foundation. Yeah, it's a good foundation. That gave me faith mm -hmm. in the brand again. So mm -hmm. I'm... I'm interested. I'm interested. I'm interested too. Um, in the last new video, we talked about Essence releasing new collections. There mm -hmm. were three of them. We've got another one. Yeah. This is the I Want Candy collection. So there's like a um, face brush, a hair brush, eyeliner. Cream palette? Yeah. That, I think it's a cream like lip or maybe cheek palette of some yeah. sort. It's, I mm, don't mm, leave the I Want Candy thing at home. Just. It kind of, I think it suits Essence a little I, bit. Actually, it does. I think it suits Essence more than it suits Too Faced, to be honest. Yes. Yeah, except that they've got Candy Johnson, they so do. they have to really yes. capitalise on that course. name. Yes. Hourglass. They're hitting us up with those Yeah, really first we annoying... had that mystery fucking photo that yeah. they always do. They love to do that. Um, and they said it's your secret weapon. It'll be revealed on the 13th of this month, which is not today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they're giving a lot of hints. They are. And, and there's a newer one that came out today. Uh, see, I hate that. I was looking this morning on Instagram. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Here. Oh, you motherfuckers. So what do we think it is? A mascara? Or a liner. Liquid a lo liner. Liquid liner. Yeah, well, so many people said there was something else that they sneak peeked ages ago when people were like, oh my God, liquid liner. And they were like, no. Yeah. So they've put a few, like, it's like a, I don't know. I don't know what would make this a secret weapon, 
I'm really curious. It's got gold <laughs> packaging. They're treating it like it's either ammunition or something that you put in a safe with mm. diamonds. Of course. But I think it might just be a liquid liner. Oh, how exciting. Overpriced liquid liner. Potentially, yes. And not the best formula. Well, we don't know yet. We don't know. It might we be don't great know. formula. Um, speaking of hourglass, did you guys know that Unilever actually purchased them? I didn't know that. Last month. I didn't know that either. Um, it. I found out today when I was looking for an update on that stupid whatever the oh. fuck it is. So it has been... Um, so they've signed an agreement to acquire Hourglass, the luxury colour cosmetic brand, for an undisclosed amount. Yeah. I find this to be... Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I find it to be interesting, mostly the fact that Unilever, I, from what I know, they mm. don't own any high-end cosmetic brands. Yeah, I think it's mainly some really basic, and not even so much beauty brands, not like, like makeup brands, more yeah, like, like supermarket. Shampoo, yeah. conditioner, deodorant, body Soaps, wash, yeah. yeah, stuff like that. But they're a huge company. They're absolutely massive. And I think it's interesting, like, it, does Unilever want to start getting into the world of high-end cosmetics? Um, will this change the brand? All right, so it looks like Hourglass was potentially privately owned by the original creator. So big payday for her. Oh, yeah, I imagine so. All right, so the next thing we're talking about is Huda Beauty's mm -hmm. summer releases. Now, we're not sure yet when these are coming out, but we're seeing some nice photos. So there's a highlighter palette. Mm -hmm. So it's got like a, a kind of gold champagne, like a kind of light gold, a champagne, a pink, and then like a vibrant purple. Yeah. Once again, I was saying this weeks ago, this is like the colour of summer this year. Yeah. There's been the Kylie Jenner lip kit that came out in this colour. Jeffree Star had like a lip, a liquid lipstick that came out in this colour. Mm -hmm. Seems to be like the trendy colour at the moment. Yeah. But so we can see swatches here. They're quite pretty. Most people won't be able to wear that purple. No. Uh, which is a shame because it's gorgeous. Look, it's a really beautiful colour and I like the way it looks on skin, but I just can't think of any way that you'd have to be very deep to make oh, that work absolutely and it would look gorgeous oh if, yeah if absolutely um there's also four liquid lipsticks so we have bikini babe which is just a pinky nude jet setter which is a deeper mauvey nude wild child which is like a vibrant coral and mamacita mamacita which is more like a vibrant orange tone yeah red. i'd say it's an orange tone red i think it's probably one of the prettiest orange toned reds that i've seen in a long time yeah and i really like the other shades in the range mm -hmm. as well bikini babe too light for me but i can appreciate the color for what it is jet setter and wild child multiple yeah i i do think that some you look at some collections and one that comes to mind is jeffree star mm -hmm. and you kind of go what how is that summer <laughs> Yeah, this to me is summer. This yes, is great. I agree. You've got like those beautiful, bright, vibrant daytime colors, and then more muted nudes for like a sexy nighttime. Thing. And you can even imagine wearing like a gold, like a bronzy gold yeah. lid with like a nice nude lip, mm -hmm. bit of a tan, yeah. good to go. So I think this is really smart. Yeah. Uh, the only thing that disappoints me is that if I got that palette, I'd be like, I can't wait to use the purple, and then <laughs> it would make me look like I'm a crazy person. Yes. Yes, I totally hear you. Um, Inglot is bringing out a new flexi palette. It's called the Eco Palette. Mm -hmm. I think people are kind of excited for this. Yeah. It looks cool. I just wish it was bigger. <laughs> I think it's cool as well. I think what they'll probably be doing is testing the waters and then bring I it out in so. all sizes. Yes. So if you're not familiar with the uh, Inglot Freedom palettes, they're plastic palettes with magnets. Mm -hmm. They're really good. And if you want to store a lot of eyeshadows, you can get ones it's that store so like good. 20 yep. square pans, probably more circle pans. Mm -hmm. um, and they're really strong magnets as well. So they're really good. Um, but I do love the move to wood. So... <coughs> Wow. Sorry, excuse me. I just inhaled my own spit. <laughs> so do I. I think, <laughs> I think it looks great, and I I believe it might be 
uh, I think it might be bamboo. I Possibly. think it might be like a sustainable yep. material. Good. Um, I love it. And I these it. are coming to Australia, but we don't know when yet. Yeah. Also, so, can I just say, this was this image here where mm. it says Nowie. This was on, I can't remember what country, like, Inglot webpage it was. Mm. But I fucking love the way it's like new. Now we now we yes, <laughs> yes. Um, but this can like this holds six inglot pa- not six, eight. eight inglot yeah. pans derp I think I'm dyslexic for numbers sometimes it's all right um <laughs> eight inglot pans but for me and if for most people that are big like eyeshadow collectors eight's not enough oh hell no eight's not enough <laughs> I need thirty of those palettes yeah, exactly right more. All right, so we're speaking of Jeffree Star. Mm-hmm. Um, he has sneak peeked these little cute chubby bubbies. Oh, my God. I think these are cute as a button. They're very cute. My question about these... Mm-hmm. Okay, so essentially he's bringing out a box set of mini liquid lipsticks. Mm-hmm. Now, this is going to be launching at the end of September, and they're their top-selling nudes. So I'm going to say Celebrity Skin, Androgyny... Something, something, something. Mm -hmm. Um, And then one new shade will be coming. These are half the size of normal liquid lipsticks. But these look smaller than half the size. They do, don't they? They do. They really do. That's what confuses me about them. So I think where it gets a little bit... um, I don't know. I I don't want to, like, jump to conclusion. But I think, like, if you look at the the clear packaging, right, the clear part, it does look like they're... Half, the, half, yeah. half. Like the small one is half of the big one. Yeah. Um. So, I. Yeah, I I would think that maybe they are, but then. But they do look small. They do. But I do think that if he says it's half, it's going to be half. Otherwise, yeah. people will roast him for yes. it. Visually, like you know, when you look at um, like some like brain teasers, and they're like the eye. Yeah, they like fuck, the yeah. What like a, an illusion That's it. type thing. Yeah. Sometimes you can't work it out until you're like actually doing like measurements. Yeah. So I'm sure I'm sure it's legit. Yeah. It just looks really it small. It does look smaller. Yeah. I think they're cute though. Yeah, I agree. Mm. Kat Von D. Metal Crush highlighters. I'm surprised it has taken her this long to be honest. Metal Crush Extreme Highlighters. So <laughs> If you're not familiar with the Metal Crush range, she's got eyeshadows that are called Metal Crush eyeshadows. Mm -hmm. And there is one particular one that is like a sort of white colour that's got a gorgeous kind of like, sort of like a colour shift to it. I have it. Yeah. But it's a really intense eyeshadow and it always sells out because people buy it as a highlighter. It's fucking beautiful. So I'm surprised she hasn't twigged earlier and just said let's put them in bigger pans and sell them for more money. Mm-hmm. But sounds like that's what she's doing. I think I think she wants to make sure the formula is perfect for wearing on the face. Yeah, you can Potentially, tone it down a bit as like well. she might be looking for something that's like high shine and reflect that's not like skin texture. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Good on her. I do appreciate how Kat Von D takes her time with her products yeah. and makes sure she gets them to a point where she's satisfied with the formula. I mm-hmm. think I think that's good. Too bad she didn't do that with all her liquid lipsticks. Well, she oh. did, but some of them are shit. Well, do ya? Mm-hmm. Shame. I agree, actually. There's a lot that I don't like. Uh, Laura Mercier, caviar sticks, matte. Ah, You're welcome. Interesting. Yeah. Nice shades, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think Very it's... expensive way to just wear a matte eyeshadow, Ooh, though. Oh, yeah. Ooh. But yes. they're popular. So. Hey, Christmas sets. Yeah. I'm sure there were some in there that weren't shimmery. There are some matte ones in there, but I yeah. think these are new additions to the yeah. range. Because most of those were, like, khaki and yes. dark brown. And a dark plum. Yeah. 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 Got some new additions to the Verbena collection from L'Occitane. Um, there's hair products, body products... Scented sprays. Are personally, for me, this is my favorite line. Same. I was going to say that. I really so love that line. So good. This is the best. Yeah, scent. it's really refreshing and citrusy. Mm. And what I had that cooling hand cream. Yes. The one thing I didn't like about it though was that because it is like a 
mattifying hand oh. cream. It makes you put hand cream on. You're like, oh, that's nice and refreshing. It smells yep. nice. Then it dries. And you're like, now my and... hands feel drier than they were before. Oh, no. So I that's never repurchased it, but the scent was bomb. I had a little bottle of the Verbena body spray. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I adored yeah. that thing. That That's... That's the shit. Have they added to the fragrance range? Yes, I believe they have. And it's in French, so I don't know what it means. Yeah. I'm not even going to try and say it. But I'm interested in finding out. Yes. So there we go. Lots of photos. Gorgeous. Yes. All right. So we've got a new sneak peek from Lorac. Mm. I love it when big brands sneak peek their own stuff. Oh, well done. We'll give you props for that. Like we've said many times, big brands often just release things and then you're like, wait, is that new or is that old? What? Yeah. Huh? So, Lorac are bringing out three new unzipped palettes. Mm-hmm. So, these are quite popular and these ones are inspired by the colours unique to Southern California's landscapes. So, like, it's new to the Sunset series. Mm-hmm. And you can see, like, some really earthy tones, a really gorgeous dark green yes um a dark teal then the one below it has a purple and like a kind of pinky red and then the one on the side it has a lot of muted pinks and golds and gorgeousness yeah and these shadows are really nice so i really like lorac i well yeah i like their like palettes that aren't limited edition sorry let's move on What? I what? said nothing. What? I said nothing. What birds? Yeah, don't I know. accuse us of anything. They're terrible. No, they're great. So I love terrible. Them. Oh, you should stay here one night, and when they're waking you up at five thirty in the morning, hey. they're like, ah, look, I'm going home. Something's gonna get me up in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I know. They don't get me the up cat, in the morning. The cat knocks everything off my bedside table. Yeah. Tries to bite my hands. Everything. I'm just like, let me alone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is why we have pets because. We like to punish ourselves. <laughs> so Mac, yeah, is bringing out little Mac lipsticks. I'm kind of excited about this. I fucking love this. Yeah, I think I love this is this. great. I love it. I'm down with it. It's so cool. I hope they come to Australia. So far, we've only seen them on the Nordstrom yeah website. They're ten US dollars each, and I believe they come in ten shades. I'm going to tell you, I have Diva, Russian Red, Sin, Twig, Velvet Teddy. I don't think I've got Whirl. Or do I have I think I've got Whirl. Anyway, I already have most (laughs) of these. (laughs) Nearly all of them. Nearly all of them. So it is like their most popular shades. And they're selling them in minis. I'm wondering if this is Mac's way of going, let's just test the waters. Yeah. We have so many lipsticks. Imagine if we could bring them all out in minis. And then people could buy one of every fucking shade they wanted but and not feel Potentially, guilty. but my question here, like the the fact of the matter is when it comes to makeup is packaging is always more expensive so than expensive. the lipstick. Absolutely. And I know that these are selling for 10 US dollars and I believe full size MAC lipsticks are 16. Oh. So, like, see, here is in it Australia, worth the saving? they're like 30. Four. 34? Yeah. Yeah, so. so it's very different. If they brought out lipsticks that were $10 and they were minis, hmm. I would buy them all. Oh, my God. Um, but if they, they bring out, out minis that are potentially less than half the size and cost you 25 bucks, you may as well just spend the extra, yeah. you know, 9 bucks and get the full size. That's very true. So. All right, so we did do some research, and a normal MAC lipstick is 0.1 ounces. Yeah. These are 0.06. So it's... 60% yep. of a full-size lipstick. So you are getting good just value. Just over half, yeah. Because, you know, it's, you're paying just over half the price for just over half. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think it's decent value, and I think it's a good move as long as they're really stable because often mini lipsticks are more inclined to break. Yes, that's a very good point. Um, something for Aussies. Mecca is bringing out a new brand, we believe, Mm -hmm. called Mecca Max. Now, they do have their in-house... Mecca Cosmetica. Yeah, so Mecca Cosmetica has Mecca Cosmetica branded makeup and skincare Mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And we're assuming that this is going to be Mecca Maxima's makeup 
Which would take over from Kit Cosmetics. Which has been basically defunct now for years. Yes. So, um, so, and they weren't that great. I'm <clears> sure <throat> they're just relabeling that. I remember yeah. last year they had a big like, ooh, Mecca's having a big sale. And then you have a look and it's all Kit Cosmetics products. And I'm yeah. like, no one wants that shit. Because it wasn't good. And it's obsolete. Mm. And we, look, we love Mecca. We fucking love a good Mecca trip. But I don't like it when brands create home brand style and don't do it well. Yeah. Their it Mecca Cosmetica me. range is good. It's the skincare, lovely. Everything and I've tried in there. I think that's what annoyed really me good. about Kit. It felt like... The sports girl version. It did. And it, it felt like they weren't trying mm-hmm. and they didn't care because I knew that they could do stuff well. But they chose not to with that brand. Yeah, I agree. So that irked me. Anyway, that's probably what it is. It's a launching on the 1st of April. Mecca Max. Whatevs. Whatevs. All right. We're going to talk about Milani real quick. They've added some more of their... They've got like little six pen eyeshadow palettes. Yeah. They've added some more to the range. Nice shades. Mm-hmm. Nudes. And... Warm nudes. Yeah, metallics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. They look nice though. And it looks like there's always some liquid, always, also some liquid lipsticks always, in there. Some, always. Some always some liquid some lipsticks in every li- damn episode. There is. It's not wrong. Yeah. So we've got three mattes and three metallics. Good o. Excellent. Oh, I reckon you'll be excited about this. I am excited. Yeah. I know a lot of people that uh, are now boycotting NARS. Yeah. Won't be excited. Yeah. But I'm personally yeah. very excited. So I believe this is their autumn, fall yes. collection that they're bringing out. Looks very They're releasing uh, six new audacious, audacious. lipsticks, yep. which are some of my favorite formulas of lipsticks ever. There's a purple, gorgeous, peach, gorgeous, kind of like a grayish nude, mm-hmm. gorgeous, dark red, orangey, kind of burnt orange color, and a dark brown, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Very, very fall, very gorgeous. And these, besides maybe the red, because they've got mm. an abundance of red, these are injecting some new colours into their range. I think that's what I'm most excited about. Yeah. Because if they're doing this, it means they're going to do more. Yeah. But I have heard, I think the, the, I'm probably wrong, but I think two of these will be limited edition and the rest will become permanent. Right. Something like that. Yeah. Some of them are limited. Some of them are permanent. I'm going to assume that those stranger colours, like maybe the greyish, maybe the purple, mm-hmm. might be limited. Um, but they're also bringing out um, audacious mascaras. Mm-hmm. So that they've already got it. And it's not the best mascara. Oh, isn't it? I haven't tried it. I had it. a mini of it and it was just a Didn't bit love it. Um, But they're bringing it out in different colours. So I think we have like a dark red, a yep. purple and a blue Plus a brown and, and yeah, a black. And a, which well, I the think... black's permanent, the brown is okay, the limited is new. one. Yeah. Right. Cool. Excellent. I'm excited. Yes. Something we're not excited about. Yeah. Olay has some new skincare stuff. Um, Who uses Olay anymore? I actually don't know. But you know what? I bet you there are people out there. There are definitely people out there. There will be. I get a lot of people's mums. Yes. So they've got the Olay Luminous Micellar Water. Mm-hmm. Uh, deep... Little beady things in it? Uh, I think it's just the packaging. Oh, okay. Yeah. They've just tried to make it look... More interesting. Hydrating with bubbles. Okay. I don't okay. know. Um, the deep hydrating eye gel and an age-defying hyaluronic acid hydrating gel cream moisturizer. I like this direction, though. Because so I, I love hydrating skincare. So, so more brands need to focus on that. Good on them. Good on them. We have a new brand launch. Yeah. Are you excited? Are you ready for it? It's coming from a YouTuber. This is called Pop Lux. And it is coming from the Pop Lux, also known as Nadi. Um, he has a background in cosmetics and body care, like creating them, mm-hmm. making them, the chemistry behind it. And he's brought out his own highlighters. Good on him. Yeah. So there's six in the range. Uh, pink, gold, sort of a minty green. Yeah. Um, the minty green one is actually, it's called Nightlife and it's meant to be glow in the dark. He has said that like the glow in the dark dissipates over time. Okay. But 
you know, as in as you, like when it's on or in the pan. I think when it's on. Okay. So yeah, interesting. Interesting. Um, then he has like a double colored one. Uh, it's color shifting called Double Life. See what you did there. Mm. Uh, and a white. So interesting. Cool. Yes, they look alright. Yeah. I kind of like the Double Life one. Double Life looks nice. It's got that, like, peach to gold shift. Yeah. You know. I feel like that's a universal shade for almost anyone. Yeah, I agree. So, those highlighters are $23 US each. They're currently available for pre-order. So, if you're interested, go check out his video and you can buy down. Go buy down. Um, Another fellow YouTuber with their makeup line, Mm -hmm. Rani Cosmetics. Uh, sneaky, sneaky, peaky. Liquid Snake lipstick. Sneaky. Yeah. Yeah, liquid lipstick. Yeah. Because hers were the bullet lipsticks. Yes. Now, this is called a sparked, dazzling liquid lipstick, which makes me think it's going to be a metallic liquid lipstick. Yeah. Well, all the whole range of her... Are sparkly. Yeah. And are glossy to an extent. to some yeah. extent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Sephora. This is not super exciting. Uh, tinted and cooling eye primers. These are technically sort of an update because we talked about these with that mass release in oh, July and did in we? August. Doesn't matter. Here's ah, the five shades. There you go. There you exciting. go. Oh my God, I hate this. Do you know who this is from? No. Does it look like a Korean brand? Yeah. Yeah, but it's not. You know who it is? Who? Fucking Sephora. Oh, doesn't <laughs> Yeah. So these are called Luminizers to Go. They are stick luminizers or stick highlighters and um they're mm-hmm. they got little faces on them they do they look do. cute look they're really cute but i you know what i feel like saying stay in your lane Ooh, ben! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. i love i love my korean brands and i love that they do things that are like unapologetically Almost childish and fun. Mm. And when other brands do them, like Sephora, where they're like, here's 60 million new products. Hopefully one will sell well. Yeah. And then they bring out something like this. I'm like... Stay in your lane. Yeah, stay in your lane. Yeah, fair enough. Shiseido. These are interesting. I don't know what the fuck's going on here, but we'll talk about it. They're bringing out eyeliners. They're pot eyeliners, cream eyeshadows, lipsticks... And mascaras mm-hmm. or a mascara, but these eye these eyeliners. Look at what's in the pot. Yeah. What is that? It looks like a little. Yeah, it's a right groove angle. of some sort. I don't know why it's in there. I don't know what the That's function so of weird. it is. But obviously, I think it might actually be for wiping your brush off. But oh. also keeping the product in the center of the pot. That's a smart Rather move. than all like building up on the outside. Yeah. Maybe. 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 It makes sense. I don't hate it. No, I don't hate it either. Not keen on these cream shadows, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I love a good gel liner. And if they're making, if they're just putting something in it that makes it a little bit easier to use or yeah. to. Because the problem is when you scrape it on the side, oh, it dries out as it does. well. So. It does. And it all sort of starts to build up on the side and it yeah. gets dry and... Cr- oh, it's gross. It's really gross. It's what my brow gel, my brow <laughs> pomade what my doing. life looks like. Yeah, pretty much. So there's a plum, a blue, green, brown, grey and a black in that range. Perfect. Um, there's also a... Brushes. Brush. Yes, two brushes it looks like. Mm. Um, I'm wondering if this one here... Comes with it. Yes, I think it might. That's a cool little brush. Isn't Look it? at it. So you can put like the... It looks like a little calligraphy brush. Yeah. You, and you can like pull it apart and then put the brush yeah. in the tube to protect it. Mm, hmm. It's a good travel brush. Clever. We Clever. Like it. See what you did there. So that's a cool little collection. Mm-hmm. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued too. Mm, and I love this artwork too. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Oh. All right. So we've got a Jared sneak peek again. Um, funny though. So he showed this photo, which... If you're a moderately sensible person, you'd understand it's the bottom of a shoe. Um, but so many people thought this was a butt plug. Hey. That you, he had to then... It's easy. If you're, like, scrolling, if you're like me and you're like, don't give a fuck about two, 
toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> toothpaste. Yeah, I fucking hate toothpaste. And you're scrolling past really yeah. quickly. You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? What was that? See, I would have thought it's more like a silicon sponge, but that's, you know, yeah. what I'm more familiar with uh, compared to yeah. butt plugs. Anyway, yeah. it's the bottom of the sole of a shoe, and mm-hmm. he then put up straight away another photo from a different angle. It's like, don't worry, guys. Get your mind out of the gutter. It's just a shoe. So um, clearly they're bringing out some some form I of shoes. I am praying that this is just PR and this is not some weird attempt to get into yeah. fashion. Yeah. Because I have done the denim jackets. I have done the... Um, Bags. Yeah and, yeah. yeah. and the collab with Key sunglasses. Yes. So oh, um, this might just be a collab. I hope it's just some PR junk. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, we're going to talk about another indie highlight palette. This is by a brand called Tooth and Nail, mm-hmm. and it's the Unicorns versus Mermaids palette. Six pans, colors, highlight. Hey, they've got that like color of summer in there, just yeah. a little bit more muted. Um, yeah. So if you're a fan of like cuteness cuteness and stuff Indie like this um, they're cream though um they look cream oh they are i think they actually might be cream if they're I not they're very 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 soft powders yeah. that will probably break in the mail oh because they oh look dear. cream oh dear anyway it's coming on july 14th so it's already out by the time you're watching this Oh, here we go. Sneak peek. This one's actually sneak peeked from Wendy, who created Urban Decay. Mm -hmm. They bring out a new mascara called Troublemaker. Mm. And it's got like an oil spill kind of thing going on. Um, I think that if this is a good mascara, it's a smart move because I think that's one of the areas where they're lacking a little bit. Yes. So, you know, people... Like, their perversion mascara, no one talks about. I used it, and I honestly didn't mind it. It's not amazing, and Mm. I wouldn't buy a full size. I enjoyed it while I was using it. Mm. But I can understand why it's gone under the radar, because Mm. it's not anything special. Yeah, so hopefully this one is special. Yes. We'll see. We'll see. Packaging special. Yeah, it is. It's nice. Um, Victor and Rolf, they're bringing out a Flower Bomb (laughs) Twist collection. So, I believe what's happening here is it says create your own flower bomb, and it's just yeah yeah they've got like flower bomb rose twist jasmine twist and musk twist. So, so it's similar to um like Chloe fragrances come in like the rose one yes. and like a green one yeah. And so it's I think just it's a like slight variation yeah on I think the it's original. just the like the flower bomb scent with a twist yep. so if you lean more towards x scent yeah you can get it so but they look cute i like the packaging too the top with yeah. that slanted thing yeah. i like it i like it um god is this a final thing i i hope so w i hope oh no god, it's not no, 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 no. <laughs> All right. I so, want to go shopping. Oh my Bertha God, is yeah. waiting for me. I know. It's like all of a sudden we've become really anxious. I know. Like, well, I just want to go shopping. <laughs> all right. I need the beast box. <laughs> yes. Need it. Need it now. Need it now. Um, see, we are into makeup. We um, are. We are. So Wet n Wild are releasing four new shades of highlighters mm-hmm. from their already released um mega glow highlighter yep. range. So it's just four new shades. Yeah. One is like a kind of bluey purple yep what would you call it periwinkle blue yes yep one's a gold one's a pink one's a champagne photos are on the screen exciting stuff we've got names as well so royal what oh royal calyx cool botanic dream blossom glow and golden flower crown yes and that's added to just generic boring that they had previously yeah Cool. They were generic boring. Well, it's good that they're increasing the range. It is. Yeah, good on them. it's good. Um, XO Beauty, bringing out eyeliners. That's all we know. Um, can I also update? Yes. Nipple brushes are actually called nipple brushes. Yes! Somewhere! I yeah. know! I saw that! Oh and, my god, I'm so excited! Oh my god, nipple brushes! Um, but the point of the nipple brushes, mm. I believe... There was a few people giving explanations in the comments when we talked about them, but the one I think is probably 
the most researched and most legit is that, you know, when you pump foundation onto your brush, it just sinks in. Yes. It's to kind of keep it on the surface. Mm hmm. Like, plump. Elevated. Yeah. To I prevent believe. it from like dripping. soaking in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so when you buff it on, like you can mm-hmm. kind of place it on first uh, yeah. and then buff it in. Yeah. Rather than I it just sinking into the brush. I also heard that it's meant to be good for getting into like little... Oh. Focus on our face, camera. <laughs> that was it's gonna really be, out There's going to be photos over that. Yeah. You won't even know it happened. Uh, I heard it's good for like getting in around the awkward spots, around the nose. But then when you like do the buffing motion, yeah. the bristles sort of press in. So good on her. Eyeliner, nipple brushes, I'm all for it. Um, this is YSL. Mm-hmm. Concealers. They can and, be expensive. Oh, yeah. And All Hours Foundation. Ooh. Does that name inspire you to want to try it? Does. It does. Yeah, I know. Because if you've got oily skin, yeah. you want your foundation to last all hours. Oh, yeah. That is for sure. Yeah, I know. But the, the other one that was really Fusion liquidy. Ink. Yeah. Didn't last on me. Yeah. Really lovely. Yeah. Feels really nice. Really thin. Lovely foundation. But then, but then as soon as some oil comes through, it's just like, oh, uh, where did it go? It wipes right it, off. It like just literally just dissolves yeah. into the air. So. I would be, if this is like their new sort of long wear, blah, blah. Oh. I'm buying it. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I will spend that money. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're also bringing out an all hours primer and a sponge. Fancy looking hanging <laughs> sponge. Probably. That's definitely not bought off eBay. No. <laughs> no. Mm. Definitely not. Body shopper watching you. Also, stop being out of focus, Oh, camera. my God. <laughs> that camera goes extremely out of focus. Yeah. That is just like, what faces? I know. <laughs> there are no faces no, here. Yeah, I know. Fuck. Smudge. <laughs> Smudge. Smudge it away. While uh, the camera is in focus, let's quickly mention that Zoella is... Something new is coming on um, yeah. 18th of August. No, 18th of 18th July. Of July sorry. So we'll update you. I reckon it's going to be that perfume she sneak peeked. That's true. Very yep. true. Very true. And that's it. That is it. That's it. And now we want to go shopping. We to do. Buy shit. We want to go shopping and we want to say thank you for watching. Yep. We need an emoji while we're still in focus, real quick. How about a camera emoji? Yes. For cause... not being out of focus. <laughs> yeah. So if you watch to the end, Leave an emoji. Yep. Hello to the notification. And she snorted. Oh, I snort frequently. All the time. I'm notification squ- squad. Yes, that You one. are a swine. <laughs> and now we're both swine. Well, yeah, one in all in. Yeah. Um, Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Um, so, yeah, if you do want to join the notification squad, see, I can say it sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um Ring the little fucking bell. Yeah. Press the bell Press button. Press the bell. Ding, get ding, notified ding, ding, ding. when we post videos. Uh, maybe don't do it just yet because we're posting a lot of videos at the moment. Oh, yeah. My joke. Um, man. And we might have a sneaky video coming up. I wonder what it could be. On the weekend. We're not going to give you a sneak peek in this one because no. it's a legitimate surprise. Surprise. Yeah. Um, I think that's it, guys. Thanks I'm for watching. Excited. Yeah, I'm excited too. Everything's exciting today. We talked about cool shit. I'm going to go buy Burberry. I'm going to get coffee and fun probably Fun stuff wine. happening on the weekend. Yay! We're happy. Happy, 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 happy. All right, we got to go because now we're getting weird. Yes. It's always a good episode of Beauty News when we get weird at the end. We hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up. Yeah. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.